Hey you guys! Because some of you asked for a video explaining on how to install the TMC's 2208 drivers on the Tarantula Pro, we decided to make this quick video explaining the procedure. The TMC's are great drivers not only to reduce the noise of the stepper motors, but also to eliminate the salmon skin effect on the prints. The TMC's 2208 are super easy to install and we will show you how to do this. There are a few different versions online that you can buy, but for the standalone mode, which is what we will use here, any version will work. Make sure the heat sinks are included with the deal. These are very important because the TMCs run hot. You can check the video description below for some links. And the first step is to glue the heat sinks on the drivers. Make sure you glue the heat sinks on the PCB and align with the driver chip that is located on the bottom side. Also make sure that the heat sink does not touch the pins on the sides. With the printer turned off, you need to access the board that is located on the bottom side. Since the salmon skin is produced by the X and Y axis, we will replace only these two drivers. If you plan on replacing the extruder driver, we recommend using the LV8729 instead. Carefully take the X and Y axis drivers out. Next, disconnect the X and Y axis stepper motor cables as well. In the middle of the driver slots, you can find a few jumpers. These are used to configure the stepping mode of each driver. So, we need to set the TMCs at 1 by 16 micro steps. And to do that, we will need to remove the third jumper on each driver slot. Now, get the TMCs and install them. Pay attention to the driver orientation. The headers have different colors, so you need to match the black header of the driver with the black header of the slot and the blue header of the driver with the green header of the slot. And because the new drivers run hotter when comparing to the Allegro's, we will need to add active cooling. And for that, you need to find a way to secure a fan to cool the drivers. We designed this and you can find the link in the video description below. It's a simple design and easy to print. You will also need 4 M3x8 screws, 4 washers and 4 T-nuts. These will secure the fan support mount to the metal profiles. The installation is very simple. Just put the fan support next to the board metal plate and tighten the screws. In our case, we decided to use a 24 volt 5015 blower fan. And to secure it, we used a couple of 20 mm long self tapping screws. To connect the fan, you can use the spare 24 volt output connector or just connect it directly to the 24 volt output of the power supply. On the board, make sure the positive wire is at the top and the negative at the bottom. You will also need to arrange the cables to prevent them to block the airflow coming out from the fan. You have a few holes on the metal plate that you can use with zip ties to secure the cables. Now we need to adjust the V-refs. 
To make this job easier, we recommend you to get a crocodile clip for your voltmeter and a small metal flat screwdriver. Get your voltmeter and replace the positive probe with the crocodile clip. And then set your voltmeter to read DC voltages under 2 volts. Now turn on the printer. Carefully place the negative probe on the 0 volt input on the board. And also carefully use the small screwdriver to adjust the voltage on the small potentiometer. For the TMC2208, the VREF formula is VREF equals the output current times 1.4. For the X axis, we set our output current to 0.85 amps, which is 1.19 volts on the VREF. For the y-axis and because we have a more powerful motor, we use the higher output current of 0.9 amps, which is 1.26 volts on the VREF. Now turn the printer off and reconnect the stepper motor cables. The TMCs run the motors in a different direction when compared with the previous Allegro ones, so we need to change that on the firmware. Connect the USB cable from the printer to the PC. Inside the memory card that came with the printer, you will find the firmware. Use the Arduino software to edit the firmware. Go to the tab called configuration.h and look for the lines that define the drivers. You need to define the new drivers, so uncommon the X and Y axis lines and replace the A4988 with TMC2208 standalone. Next, search for the lines that define the direction of the X and Y axis motors. For the X, you need to change from false to true. And for the Y axis, you need to change from true to false. Make sure you have the printer's board being detected by your windows and select the board's COM port that your windows defined in the device manager. Click on Upload and wait for the firmware to be installed on the board. When done, disconnect the USB cable from the PC and from the printer and you are ready to go. Your printer will now make less noise and your print quality will improve. This is an example of a print done with the stock Allegro A4988 drivers and with the TMC's 2208 drivers. As you can see, the salmon skin is gone. And that's it you guys. We hope this video helps with the installation of your new TMC drivers and if you enjoyed the video go ahead and give us a like. As always, you can follow us here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. If you like our work and wish to help, you can with Patreon or PayPal. We will see you guys next time. Bye!